I'm just about to do the timing chain on it. It's the two liter diesel, so the timing chain got problem. It's rattling and it's about to break. It's at, the, it's at the back of the engine. So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna take the rocky cover out, take the gearbox out, and then take the timing cover out, uh, and then I will take the chain out, and then uh, I'm probably gonna take the sump out as well to replace the oil pump chain. This is how the rocky cover is out. As you can see, this is the chain here, and this guide here is broken, the guide. Half of the guide is broken, the other piece is at the back. So I'm gonna take the gearbox out, take the timing cover off, and then I can take the rest of the guide out and the rest of the chain out. And by the way, to take the rocky cover out, you will have to take um, all the injectors out. Don't forget to mark it. To know which cylinder is what and uh, now before I jack up the car to take the gearbox out I loosen the pump this is the high pressure pump there's a bolt there I loosen it about that much and leave it like that there's another bolt at the bottom of the pump like uh, somewhere there I don't know if you can see it I loosen it about that much and leave it there and this is the bracket that holds the pump. I take this bracket off. Um, I will explain why I did this uh, when I'm about to take the chain off. That's the gearbox. It's an automatic gearbox. It has to come out and then take the timing cover out. Okay, now the gearbox is out. Here's the... I need to take the flywheel out. Take this uh, timing cover out. Take the sump out as well, and by the way, to, to see where the TDC is, the top dead center, uh, if you look at the flywheel, that hole here on the flywheel, it is different to these holes. These holes are the torque converter ones. They are different. There's this special one here. That's for the flywheel locking. So what you do, you rotate it till it matches with this with that hole there and then the crank locking tool goes at the back there and then it holds the flywheel that's where the crank locking tool is goes but I'll explain later alright to do the timing you have to make sure th these dots match that one dot here needs to be in between these two dots like that yeah you see that that's where it should be and then we put this special tool in there this special tool sits on on here slides on here and it sits on and it holds the cams and then if you come down on the flywheel I have locked the flywheel there that's the locking place the special locking place there's the two goes at the back and it locks the flywheel that's on TDC because I'm gonna take the uh, flywheel out and I'm gonna take this cover off what I did I have I have tipexed the crankshaft with a tipex so whenever when I'm installing the chain I can keep looking at the tipex and I can also install the flywheel to double check with the locking tool again and then you see here the chain it's very very slack it's about to break because the guide is broken the oil sump is out I'm gonna take the timing cover out next I will explain why I took the sump out to, to change the chain all right the reason why you have to take the sump out is is because you have to take this pulley out this oil pump pulley but the sump covers it when this pulley comes out, the first chain comes out for the oil pump and then you can take the second chain out 
if, if this pulley doesn't come out, then you won't be able to take this chain off from here. And also the high pressure pump pulley has to come out as well for this chain to be able to come out as well. So you have to take this high pressure pump pulley out, this chain out, and then the other chain has to come out as well. Now I'm gonna open this high pressure pump pulley while the chain is still connected. So I use this tool, it came with the timing chain tool kit. I will hold this tool and then I will open the high pressure pump with the breaker bar and then the bolt will come out. I will explain how to take out this uh, pulley. Now the bolt is out. I'm gonna leave the bolt in there at the moment. I'm gonna leave it about here. And then I'm gonna take the tensioner out, take this guide out, take this guide out, take the other guide out. And then I will, I will take this pulley out. The only way to take this pulley out is if you have a pulley holder, you can, you can pull it out with a pulley holder. But it is a limited space. You won't be able to put the pulley holder, I don't think. So that's the reason why I undo the high pressure pump earlier. With, you see the bolt? I undo that bolt. There's another bolt on top of the high pressure pump. I undo them. If you rewind the video, you will see that I undo the bolt first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a screwdriver against, like, somewhere here. Uh, I'm going to put a screwdriver in, in between the high pressure pump. And then I'm going to hammer this bolt back, like hammer it backward. And then the pump will go back and then the pulley will come out. I will show you later on. Okay, I have hammered this screwdriver against the against the high pressure pump. As you can see. It's there. And then I will leave the screwdriver there. And then I will jack up the car. This chain can come out no problem, this camshaft chain. But this chain here, the only way it will come out is you have to take this pulley off. And that's why I left that screwdriver against the pump. I hammered it in. So now the screwdriver is stuck in between the pump. Good. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit this bolt back. When I hit it, yeah. now the pump, the pump has released itself with this... Uh, out of this pulley, you can take this bolt out now, and then the pulley comes out, see? Good. And then now this chain comes out. And just forgot to mention that the, the oil pump pulley, when you're taking out the center bolt, you have, to, you have to tight it for the bolt to come out. It's a left-hand thread. Right Here's the top cam pulley. There's three, pulley, three bolts holding one, two, three. That's the three bolt. I took it out from the top with this type of spanner. That's the chain for the cam. That's the pulley for the cam. That's the tensioner for the cam. That's the tensioner for the high pressure pump. That's the chain for the high pressure pump. This is the high pressure pump pulley. That's the oil pump pulley and that's the oil pump chain. All the timing chains are out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, put this high pressure pump back in its place. I'm going to jack down the car, put the high pressure pump bolts back in, tight it all up in there. And then I'm going to um, put the crankshaft back to its timing again because it, it moved, the crank has moved. The cam is still locked up, so the cam hasn't moved, but the crank has moved. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put the flywheel back on, like this for example. And then when the fly is in, I'm gonna, that's the special hole. And that's where the crank pulley holder goes. And then I can recheck it with the tipex that I made earlier from here. See the tipex? I can just get it back somewhere. It was roughly here. There. And then I'll put the new chain in. That's the new timing chain.
All right, I have start putting the new chain. I have put this pulley on. You have to make sure this side is tight. This side needs to be tight. The, the tensioning side should be slack. And then I will install this chain next on top of this. Then I will put the oil pump on. The crankshaft is still on timing. It is still on TDC. I have tipex to there. Okay. I have installed this chain, but I haven't tensioned it yet. I haven't released the tensioner yet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie this pulley, this high pressure pump pulley to 65 Newton meter. I'm gonna hold this crank pulley with this pulley holder, and then I'm gonna tie this with a torque wrench. All right, I have installed this one. I have tightened this one, and then um, I haven't released this one yet, this high pressure pump one. And this is the one for the cam. I haven't put the tensioner yet. What I have done, the cam pulley is loose. See? See? I left those bolts loose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna release this this tensioner. Uh, the crankshaft is still on TDC. See, it's still on TDC, the crank. The camshaft is still locked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm releasing this one. Oh, just need a plier. Let's release this one. Yeah, that's release. Now I'm gonna tie the, I'm gonna put the tensioner on the, on, on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten it all the way the tensioner and then I will tie the cam pulley last. So this is the tensioner here. Yeah, this is this is the tensioner. Now I'm gonna tension it all the way in, all the way tight it, and then I will tie the cam camshaft pulley last and then job done. Then I'll rotate the engine twice then recheck the timing, then put everything back together. Now the, the cam pulley is tight, I'm gonna release the camshaft locking tool. I'm gonna jack up the car and rotate the engine twice, and then recheck the timing. It's time to rotate the engine twice, yeah? When you are at the back of the engine, it rotates anti-clockwise, yeah? Anti-clockwise. That's the front of the engine there. It rotates clockwise front of the engine rotates clockwise but the back of the engine you will be rotating anti-clockwise that's the way the engine rotates at the back of the engine at the front it rotates clockwise so if you look at it clockwise black back side anti-clockwise same direction so you're going this way example I'll, yeah, see in the morning, I tipex this top piece here. This tipex has to come back twice. I have to rotate this tipex. Um, this camshaft there has to come back twice, like one, two. Then I'll recheck the timing. That's what I mean about twice. One, two. I have rotated twice now. So now I'm just gonna. I'm gonna lock the camshaft again and then recheck my timing on the TDC there and then I will just put everything back together I will first put this plate on first and then put the sump then put the rocker cover on then put the gearbox back in and then start the car Running perfect.